Hey everybody, I'm Brian Bauman from Bauman's Farm and Garden. The sun is out, it's summertime, and our hanging baskets are looking good. But uh, every once in a while, some things can go wrong. I'm gonna talk about several different problems and how to solve them. Now you may have some of these, you may have none of these, but I'm gonna kind of work our way through it and help you as we go. This basket is out front of our blue house in our parking lot. This is actually where I grew up. And I noticed something wasn't quite right with this hanging basket. And upon closer look, you'll see some of that powdery stuff right on the top of the leaves. That's actually mildew. And it's not because you're a good gardener or a bad gardener that this happens. Just the sunny days and high humidity can cause mildew. So an easy way to take care of that is to use this neem oil. It's an all natural product. And essentially what it does is just kind of coat the fungus and gets rid of it. it takes several applications and you gotta make sure you hit the bad spots with it. So make sure you get up underneath and all around with the neem oil. I've checked this basket and I haven't seen any signs of insects yet, but it can be a problem. So before we come, we're gonna take some applications. This is actually a rose um, care product, but it has a systemic insecticide in it. And what this means is we're gonna take some of these granules, sprinkle them right in the top of our hanging basket, and as we water it, it's going to soak some of that product up into the leaves and kind of help us as a preventative measure to make sure it doesn't happen. But what happens when you do find maybe aphids or cutworms on your hanging basket? There's a couple different products you can use and depending on how many you have, kind of will tell you on which product you want to start with. The first one is Captain Jack's. This is an all natural product. In fact, it's just some bacteria that they once found in a rum distillery. You spray this product directly onto the flowers and the foliage and when those nasty little worms or aphids bite into that, they're done for the season. So what do you do if there are lots of cutworms or lots of aphids that have come on your hanging basket? A product that we really liked is called Eight. And kind of a tip or trick to remember when you're picking out the right product, this particular one hooks onto your hose. This is what they call ready to spray or RTS. The Captain Jacks that we were on before was an RTU or just a ready to use. But in this case, if we've got lots of them on there, I like to pick up the ready to spray. You just hook this onto the end of the hose, spray down your whole hanging basket, and on contact, takes care of everything. And for one last tip, if your hanging basket starts to stretch and start looking for the sunlight maybe, it's always easier to go in and trim off some of that old growth so then it can flush new growth. It's always easier for it to grow new ones than to repair the old ones. For more information, go to www.bowmanfarms.com.